What is up crafters? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a free Minecraft server on Magma Node which is a great free hosting for your Minecraft server. Now, I did make a video on this free hosting a while ago, but a few things have changed since then, most notably 24-7 support. Hmm, I wonder why. Now, I could stay here all day and tell you all about their MySQL databases and their CPUs, but you don't care about that. You just want to get your free server set up and ready to play. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head to magmanode.com. The link will be in the description. And then you'll want to head over here to this little profile icon and click on register. So now we just want to put in our email and then we want to set our username. This can be whatever you want. And then we want to create a password and then make sure you accept the terms of service and privacy policy. You can click on these if you'd like to and then click login. All right, there we go. So now we just need to verify our account. So you'll want to head over to your email and you should see an email from MagmaNode. If you don't see this, make sure you check your spam or all mail. So now we just want to click on this and click on the link and we are all set. So now we can just click on this to create a server, put whatever you want for your server name. And then we want to select our game. We will just go with Minecraft Java. You can select any of these other ones, but Minecraft Java is probably the best one to use for now. And then we want to select our version. We will go with paper 1.20.4. And there we go. So now our server has been created. So we can click on manage and then we want to click manage again still being installed okay it's funny how they're advertising another free hosting on here that's just kind of ironic that they're advertising that on a free hosting okay so this should be done so we can click manage again and here we are greeted with this little panel so you have your console right here you can use these so now to log into our pterodactyl panel you'll just want to go up here to pterodactyl so this has like your console and your file manager and all sorts of other stuff so just use your username or email that you already set and then your password that you set. And then click log in. Here we go, you should see your server. Now this is pretty much the exact same thing as on their website, but I did notice a few issues with the file manager and it works perfectly fine on here. And we also have the plugin manager. So you can just install like any plugins that you want. If you don't know how to install plugins, which it's like super easy, you should just learn. So we go to our files and there are plugins. I'm just going to remove these. We don't need them. So now if you're cracked or if you have a free version of Minecraft, then you can go to your file manager, go to your server.properties and set online dash mode to false. However, if you have a premium account on Minecraft, you don't need to do this. So we will go ahead and leave that as true. And we are going to set enforced secure profiles to false because this sometimes causes issues. And then we can click save content or the keyboard shortcut control S. And now we're just going to go ahead and restart our server. And there we go. Once it says timings reset, you know that our server is online. So to join our server, all we need to do is click on our address to copy it to our clipboard. And then we want to head into our Minecraft. So in Minecraft, we'll want to go and click on multiplayer, click on add server, change the server name to literally whatever you want. And then we can paste in our server address using control V and then click done. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Then we can go ahead and join. And here we go. We are inside of our free Minecraft server. We can chop trees and stuff. That's fun. So now that you've seen Magma Node in action, I'd like to share some of my thoughts with you. First of all, let's discuss some of the positives. It's really simple and easy to get your server set up and ready to play really quickly. For a free server, the startup time was pretty good. About eight seconds on a paper 1.20.4 server with no plugins. I did experience the TPS drop a little bit below 20 right when I started up the server, but it swiftly went right back up. So lag shouldn't be a huge issue as long as you don't use like a thousand plugins. It would be nice if they let you use ACARS flags to opt Optimize the server. If you don't know what ACARS flags is, then don't worry because literally less than 1% of the world knows what that is and even less than that even cares about it. Basically, ACARS flags are a set of startup arguments that help to optimize your Minecraft server. It's like really long. So if you don't understand it, then don't worry because literally nobody cares about this stuff. And if they do, then they probably, okay, they are a social outcast like me. But I'll link an article in the description if you want to learn more about it. It would also be really nice if they had a way for people to turn on the server without having to give them console access. The time between a player leaving the server and the server stopping is really short. So this would make it easier to host a server with a group of friends. Now they do have some ads on their website, which is good, but I would like to see some 
premium plans to ensure the success of this host. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Craft Cray, you like ads? Well, let me explain. A lot of free hostings in the past have had to close down because they don't have enough funding to keep going. So a solution to this is to run ads and have premium servers. And I don't want to say goodbye to Magma Node. I'm going to miss it so much. <laughs> so to wrap things up, I think this is a great all around free hosting. It's perfect for a small server with a group of friends or a dev server. Now, obviously you're not going to be able to run a server for like a thousand players or something, but there's not much room to complain because it's just a free server. You get what you get and it is pretty good. So there you have it folks, how to create a free Minecraft server using Magma Node and this random kid on the internet's view on it. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Magma Node in the comments below or if you have another free hosting that you want me to cover. Now if you're looking for a great premium server, feel free to check out Spring Racks Hosting which is an awesome paid host that I'm actually using for my Minecraft server, the Crafted SMP, which you can also go check out using this IP above. If you need any help with your Magma Node server, feel free to pop into my Discord or the Magma Nodes Discord, which will both be linked in the description. And also make sure to smash that subscribe button so you never miss one of these videos. And until next time, I will see you on the other side. Happy crafting.